everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. It's been one year since Super Nintendo World opened up at Universal Studios Hollywood, and to celebrate, Universal has launched a brand new restaurant. The Power Up Cafe on the upper lot sells mushroom-shaped calzones, fire flower pretzels, and fizzy drinks, each which come with their own Power Up. We're gonna try the entire menu. Are they overpriced or worth the hype? We'll also check out some of the new Super Nintendo World merch, ride Mario Kart, Bowser's Challenge, and have some fun around the park in Kitra might even adopt an owl. Come with us on this adventure. anniversary of Super Nintendo World and in celebration of that at the studio store they have the Super Nintendo World gold power-up band it's $52 it's $52 and we actually forgot our power-up bands today so I think we're gonna buy one yeah because it's special it's limited edition and you can Is only it, buy two do you think it's real gold that's why it's so expensive <laughs> maybe <laughs> and who do we find in the store are you on the wrong coast? <laughs> Ordinary Adventures, what's going on? Theme Park Express. All the way from the East Coast. How's it going, my man? Oh, you came all the way here to buy... Just these. I'm literally here just for these. Oh my god, look at the case. They weren't cheap. A little bit more expensive than the regular Power Up bands, but you know what? For gold and celebrating the one-year anniversary, it doesn't make much of a difference. But my question is, can you transfer your like achievements and stuff over to the new Power Up Band, or like do you lose all that? I certainly hope so, because I wrecked up a lot of points with my other Power Up Band the last time I was here, and I accidentally forgot that one at home, so it's actually pretty good that I got these, but I guess we'll find out later. Ah. I feel like when I've seen photos of it, it looked a lot more yellow yeah. than gold, but in person, you can see the shimmery. Yeah, it looks more mustard yellow, but it has a little bit of a shine to it. So you go to options oh, and you go to add, add bands. Band. And you just scan the QR code. All right, then you get to choose your little Mario. I will say, I, I love being Toad. I don't know how I feel about being Mario. So I think this is setting up a whole new profile. Yeah, you don't get to keep any of your points, any of your coins, any of your stamps, but that just means we could go collect more. Oh, so you got to write a new player name too. But Kitcher's wearing it upside down, so is that a Mario band or is it a Wario band? It's a Wario. I don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> Looks like there's a whole new Bowser collection, too. I kind of like it. It's for Bowser's Challenge, which I'm not very good at, <laughs> but I appreciate that they have merch here for it. It's like the only video game I can beat you at. It, it really is. You were good when we did it. I feel like we need a rematch. But look, they got a sweatshirt, they got a tank top. Keychain, they got a pin. What are these, magnets? They got everything. And they also have t-shirts, and they have a wooden sign as well. On this blue light-up wand. How cool is this? So random. I love it. I will say, a year ago when we came here, they didn't have all the merch. Whenever they came out with some cool new merch, it sold out within days. But now you can get, like, all the like head pieces, all the plushes, all the different shirts, everything's in stock. I know, I, I have like every single one of the headbands and I forgot to bring bring them today. I'm like, should I just buy another one? <laughs> They're so cute. Honey, next time we go on a cruise, we should bring a minion duck. I think Universal needs to start their own cruise line. These would be really popular, just saying. This is so cute, why do I love that? Oh, I forgot we're here during Lunar New Year, so they have all the Lunar New Year merch. And which minion is this? Don't quiz me, I don't remember. <laughs> Does it say on his name tag? I don't know. Every single time there's a minion, Kitra's like, oh, that's Bob. I that's used Stuart. to know. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But he's dressed as a dragon. How cute is that? Because it's the year of the dragon. Look at his little, his little tail. He's even got a tail. The yeah. attention to detail here. They also have a bunch of t-shirts. They have some pins. And there's a pin with a minion on the back of a dragon. <laughs> Who knew that the minions love dragons so much? This t-shirt has some writing on it. We're going to China. What, we've been studying up. What does that say? Probably Universal Studios is my guess. See, they have so many new things that they haven't had in the last few months. Like these cups, they even have my color. 
I remember when it first opened, we were like, they need more Super Nintendo World logo merch. Yeah, now they have so many things that just say Super Nintendo World. Check this out, they have a Chain Chomp little guy, and I was so excited because I thought it was like one of those shoulder pet things, but it's just like a security tag holding it. So over here we have the Universal Cup for the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. You see a giant version of this at the end of the attraction. You can actually pick one up for yourself and bring it home. It's actually really cool. For me, I think I'm gonna wait until Epic Universe opens because I'm 99% sure they're gonna be selling this. If it said Hollywood, then I would definitely buy it here. Oh, it should say Hollywood. It should say Hollywood. They should have one for each individual park and for Tokyo as well. But either way, it's still really cool. Definitely going to get when Epic Universe opens. <laughs> oh, this is cool. You know how Universal does those metal earth sculptures? You can get Peach's Castle, you can get Bowser's Castle, and you can even get Toadstool Cafe. So you might not be able to get a reservation there. But, yeah, <laughs> you, but you can build it at home. Yeah, you can't eat there, but you can build it at home. So as part of their Lunar New Year Festival, they do have some special food at Hollywood and Dine. But I think we've tried a bunch of this stuff in previous years. Not much of it's new. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't love Hollywood and Dine for food. We're gonna be trying a bunch of like other food today, but I will recommend out of this Lunar New Year food, the giant donut. That was good. You gotta leave a coin or you're gonna have bad luck. God dang it! <laughs> I'm broke! I just bought two of these! I'm I know! Broke. I don't have any money left. <laughs> yeah, put, uh, use your uh, power up man. Maybe that'll oh, work. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah just, it works, right? <laughs> the main reason we're here today is the one year anniversary of Super Nintendo World, and they've opened up the Power Up Cafe on the upper lot. There used to be nothing here. Originally it was like a candy shop, but now it's a cafe, and they have like pretzels, calzones, popcorn. And they have a wide variety of specialty drinks, all themed to Nintendo, of course. And I like that you can put the power up in your drink. We're gonna have to try it all, but I think what I'm most excited for is they have mobile ordering finally, because when you go to the lower lot and you try to, have you ever seen that line? That line gets it's insane. So I feel like this is right now is kind of like a hidden secret. There's nobody up here. So let's go in there and try as much as we can. And they didn't go cheap with this theming. Like yeah. I love the neon. I love like all the mural stuff. Yeah, it looks really nice. We got all the food and we got all the drinks. So we're gonna try everything. We're gonna start off with one of the drinks. This is the One Up Mushroom Fizz. It's lemon lime soda with green apple poppin' pearls and a lime One Up Mushroom Power Up. Look at that little guy. Oh my gosh. He looks almost like he's like a 3D printed sugar cube or something. You take the little mushroom guy. Oh, no, don't do it now. Ah. <laughs> right? And you gotta push him down because he needs to drown, right? Yep. Oh, that. Yeah, th this is like a fizzy soda. So look at it, it's actually fizzing. Oh my God, it's like a bath bomb. <gasps> it's breaking up. Oh my gosh. Wow, yeah. this is fun. Yeah, she told me that the boba pearls obviously have flavor to them, but the that cube is what bring, gives the drink its actual flavor. Look at that. It is like a bath bomb. <laughs> Question is, is this worth $13? It's a non-alcoholic drink and it's $13, which is kind of insane, but you gotta pay, you know. You gotta pay the price if you want to one-up. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pay Mr. Miyamoto. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's glittery. So not only did that one-up mushroom break up and become flavorful, but it actually gave it a glitter. It's good, it's like a green apple lime soda with popping pearls. You know, would I get it every time? No. Is this like, if you're coming to Super Nintendo World and you want to commemorate your visit with a cool drink? Do you think this is better than the drinks that they sell downstairs? Like, yes. Is better? This is better than those like ones with the ice cream in them. Mm -hmm but it's not as good as the Superstar Lemon Squash that's in Toadstool Cafe. I'd give it a three and a half out of five, Peter, just for the price. If this was like eight bucks, I think it would get like a four. And I'm gonna try the One Up Mushroom Calzone, and this is a mushroom-shaped calzone filled with spinach, green peppers, mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, and a basil pesto. And I just gotta say, I love the packaging. They didn't have to do this, but they did, and you turn it around and it's a question mark block. And I just any question mark box. That one has the one up it. I was gonna say, what's your favorite item to get? The star. I like to get the, the fireball, but it's okay. I also like to have an extra life as well. Wow. Oh yeah, the mozzarella cheese are like the little dots there. I don't know why, but I feel so bad eating him. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
This is so good. It reminds me of like spinach dip, like a warm spinach dip. So I was expecting it to be a little dry or something, like maybe it was sitting out, but it's super moist. This is really good. I'm, I'm honestly kind of shocked. Like I'm like, is this a gimmick? But no, it's really good. We love like almost all of the Super Nintendo World food that they have here. And this is another banger. I'm gonna give it like a four and a half out of five. But yeah, you only got like 0 0.151 up. You didn't get a full one up. Anything that'll <laughs> keep me alive longer, I'm, I'm there for it, right? Is that how it works? Yes. Or it just gives me an extra life. Yeah, so I have a whole extra part of a life. We're fine. This is Superstar Fizz. This has lemon lime soda with lemon popping pearls and a mango pineapple Superstar Power Up. Ooh. I don't know why this is so entertaining. I love how it gets fizzy. Oh no, I'm spilling. You know what, I was worried that these were gonna be too sugary, but they really, I mean, they are definitely very sugary, but they're not as sugary as I was expecting. This one really reminds me of the the Superstar Squash or whatever it is in Toastal Cafe. Really? Like it has kind of similar flavors. Nintendo is really like in control of like all the food and stuff. Kind of like JK over at Illusioning World. It's good. Yeah. yeah, this one's definitely more lemony, so it's kind of like a lemonade mix, you know, with just a hint of the pineapple and mango. Oh, and but, it's glittery again. Yeah, oh wow, you could really see it. I'm gonna get a five. I'm sorry, these are fun. And usually like with these sugary drinks, I never want to finish them. This one, I want to finish the whole thing. So I got the Super Mushroom Calzone. It's a mushroom-shaped calzone with pepperoni, sausages, mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce. Now, this is actually pretty tasty. I took a bite out of it, and at first I didn't know how to feel about it, but for whatever reason, like, I had a ratatouille moment where I was, like, transported back to my childhood. The, the closest thing I can compare this to is, like, a Hot Pocket, like a pizza Hot Pocket. And it's really tasty, I'm not gonna lie. How many Adrians out of five? How many Adrians out of five? <laughs> I'll give it a four and a half out of five Adrians. Yeah. And you also got the matching drink. Yes, I did get the matching drink. This is a super mushroom fizz, which is lemon lime soda with strawberry popping pearls and a strawberry super mushroom power up. So I already put the mushroom power up in there. It's very similar to what you guys saw with the other drinks. And you can swirl it up and it is nice and glittery. So much glitter in here, oh my gosh. I feel like yours has like extra glitter. It feels like it's extra glittery. But I tried it and it is really tasty, very strong strawberry flavor. I mean, I would hope so for a strawberry flavored drink. But if I had to rate this, I would say again, a four and a half out of five Adrian's. I would definitely get this again. Is it worth $13 though? I don't really know, but for aesthetic purposes and for like Instagram worthiness, it's a five out of five for Instagram worthiness. Yeah, totally. I, I feel like the $13 is the only thing holding me back and giving this like a super high rating. Absolutely, yeah. If it was, even like if it was $10, I could probably justify it a little bit more. How much is a butter beer? I don't even know. We should go like find out. Because I feel like a butter beer is just as expensive. Adrian was right. This tastes like a cafeteria pizza or like a pizza roll or a pizza bagel or just like a frozen pizza that you make at home. That's what it is, pizza bagel. Yes which I love. Oh, I used to love pizza bagels. I know, we haven't had those in so long. Should we go get some after this? Like, it sounds so good. Well, it sounds like what you have tastes yeah. like one. Oh yeah, or you could just come here and get this. And next up, we're gonna try the Fire Flower Pretzel. This is a Fire Flower shaped pretzel with chipotle cheese, mustard, and white queso dipping sauces. Now, I don't know what kind of pretzel doesn't have like salt on it. It's kind of weird. Let's take off part of the leaf. Oh, this seems hard. Like, not like very soft. Let's use this Chipotle. This music is so intense. Let's use this Chipotle cheese sauce or whatever. Oh, yeah, dip it in. The music is too much. It's like, da 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 da. You know, this is actually not bad. I thought it was not going to be as good as it is. That Chipotle cheese sauce is a little bit spicy and I, it's totally my like jam. But this pretzel feels like it's been out a little bit. It's like hard. Oh, yeah. It's like rock. That's not. It's not bad. I've had worse. I've That's had worse nice. pretzels here at Universal Studios for a fact, but thirteen dollars. It's cute for the gram, but the sauce is good. But maybe, maybe we just got like a bad batch. Maybe it's been sitting out there. It's not terrible. I feel like once you pull it apart, it's a little bit fluffier on the inside. But I actually, you know, what? I don't hate it. 
and I, I do like the sauces, but I'd probably agree with you, like a three out of five. I think it's fun to try at least once. And next up, I got the Fire Flower Fizz. This is a lemon lime soda with orange popping pearls and a mango habanero fire flower power. I don't know why you're drinking this one. I said the fire flower was my favorite, but it's okay. And just in case you're wondering, it does print it on the back as well. There's a butt check for Kitra. <laughs> okay, let's put them in. No! Ooh, this one might be my favorite. Habanero is just like a little bit of a kick to it. And obviously it's like very citrusy, like mango, orange flavored, and it's very glittery. My one complaint is these straws are like the same size as the boba pearl, so they go, they can go up them, but they're like, you need like a little bit bigger of a straw, it's like hard to like suck them up. But I'd give this like another four and a half out of five people. And last but not least, we have this Superstar popcorn cup, and this is just buttered popcorn with a bunch of that glitter on top. It's like you just ate a star and you're like running around like crazy sparkling. And I know this is just regular popcorn, but I think it's a, it's a good excuse now to sell the Nintendo popcorn buckets up here on the upper lot, because you can get the souvenir star bucket for I think like 40 bucks. And then who wouldn't want it with glittered popcorn? <laughs> but let's try it. Let's see if it's actually good. Our toilet bowl is going to be so shiny, yeah. glittery. <laughs> just, hey, I wasn't being gross. I was talking about Everyone was already bowl. thinking that. You didn't need to say it out loud. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. Wow, super buttery and salty, actually. It's been a long time since I've had theme park popcorn. Wow, this is really salty. I love salt. And this, unlike the other items, isn't $13. Like... Yeah, this is seven, so a little bit cheaper. I'll give it like a four out of five. Why not? I feel like they should just I love the litter. Up. Brick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I love lamp. They should have just added a flavor to it. I think is what... Well, the flavor they added is salt. It's very salty. <laughs> so if you like salty, buttery popcorn, get this. They should have made mushroom-flavored popcorn. Hi, look who's back in the neighborhood! Hey. How you I'm doing? loving the new glasses. How about our new paint shop? Are you loving this? Do you like this? How's it look? Yeah, I like that. I like that you guys are back up there. Thank you. Yeah, thank Us you. Too. We had these green awnings for about 125 years, finding the super set. Baby blue. We'll go do something a little different. Baby blue, sky blue, magic yeah. sweater. Right? How so does it look? How does it look? Looks, looks nice, yeah. huh? Yeah. The new restaurant? Oh, have you seen it? Oh, have you seen it? The cow we, just, we smell it all day long. It comes through the yeah. floorboards. We smell it all day. It just makes us hungry. We're just oh. sitting there, start talking about something. We're like, I'm hungry again. I, I want meat and cheese all day. You kidding me? It smells like Brooklyn at our feet. We just ate. We just ate. I, I know. More. I'm hungry again. Yeah. Uh, did you get that power up drink? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Did you have a favorite flavor? Did you love them all? I love them all. Love them, them all. all. Yeah. Oh, and then they got that spicy one. Oh. Yeah, well, what is that one? What flavor is that? Oh, it's spicy. It's got that little it's up. The it's, got the, the, thing? It's, got, it's got a little spice in it. It's the habanero. Oh, habanero. Yeah. Give habanero. Give it to me. Say it again. Say it again. Habanero. One more time. <laughs> habanero. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's how you gotta say. Give some the edge, and if I gave him a promo fizz, he was fine. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, I get a little bit like, oh, I'm feeling it again. You, know? you gotta do the green apple to match your glasses back here. You have to. That was my favorite. That, that is your cool. favorite. Of course it is. They don't have a power down drink. It's a power up. You just I, keep going. Yeah, I never cleaned the house so fast. That is true. That's true. I, was, I was scrubbing light bulbs. I'm glad we did it at different times because when she's going fast, I just sit on the couch and go, oh, that's interesting. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. That's good. I'm gonna listen to the yeah. Oh. We'll watch the programs. And happy one year anniversary to this joint, right? Happy one year. Are you going down right now? I remember gonna... seeing you last year down. That you were so excited. You're gonna oh. collect some coinage. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Like my husband at the laundry mat. See you later. Bye, sugar. Have a great day in New York. Say hi to Mario on the Ouija for us. Thank you. Well. So it's been a few months since we've been here and the construction on the Fast and the Furious roller coaster has gone vertical. It is insane the amount of work that's being done here. Yeah, and it's just crazy to me how open it feels over here. Obviously they had knocked down a bunch of buildings, but I feel like once this roller coaster is done, it's gonna make this park feel so much bigger. Like yeah. we've never had a roller coaster here before and now we're getting like a crazy insane one. And that spins. Trips. Yeah, it looks, I'm gonna be honest, you guys know that like I get really bad motion sickness. So I'm a little bit worried. Like I'm excited for it. I'll do it at least once, but 
Oh my god, it looks it looks crazy. It goes backwards and it spins and you're drifting all at the same time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Sun has actually come out today, which means Kitra's gonna go into the water play area here, right? No. That's not what that means. Why not? It is getting a little hot though. It'd be refreshing. No, I'm okay. duck from migration I haven't seen the movie yet so please forgive me but now I'm inspired to see the movie because she is so cute so cute is it a he or a she I don't even know it's a she well she did the twirl for you yeah. she you got the butt check I got a butt check <laughs> I, the way that I screamed when I saw that she was over here and bolted yeah last time I talked to you you hadn't been to Super Nintendo World yet yeah I still haven't gone why not? Because I've been doing my due diligence and making sure nothing crazy is happening up here. <laughs> what about you? You've gone down there? Yeah, a bunch of times. I have like the high score. What? Yeah. You have the highest score? Yeah. So that's what everyone's talking about. It's you. Ah, now I see, I see. Okay, we made our way down the escalators to the lower lot where we are going to Super Nintendo World one year later after it opened. It feels so good to be back. Remember when we were coming here all the time during the soft opening and it was empty? We had it so good. A uh, couple of things to keep in mind when meeting everyone's favorite toadstool toad here. Don't touch his shroom cap. It's hard for him to wash in the morning, so let's keep it clean. And another thing, you are welcome to hug him. Just get on his level. You give him a high five, you're just gonna go to him. Sound good? <laughs> Come on in, one group at a time. I have a question, where can I get one of these pins? Oh, one of these? Uh, I believe you can get them at guest services. Hey, Toad. Are you happy about one year of New Super Nintendo World? <laughs> He's so cute. He's a lot shorter than I thought he was gonna be. He made me feel tall. You know, I'm five foot. I'm five foot five inches. You know, and he's he's this tall. I love it. He's so cute. logo from the Bowser flag from the ride. So it's in universe. See, Iggy is me when I win and Wendy is you when you lose. Accurate. Accurate. You excited? I'm so excited, but I feel a bit rusty because we haven't gone on it in so long. I feel like I'm going to forget all the secrets. Yeah, we used to know all the tips and tricks. But I still, I'm still confident that I'm going to beat you. <laughs>
73? Yeah, is that my highest? I don't know. I'll have to go back and look, but see, I'm on the highest scoreboard. I got the boost in the car. Woo! I feel like I did really good for being rusty. Hit every drift. I got like three of the mystery uh, question mark blocks that are hidden in every room. I mean, to be fair, we have, we're on here with two kids, so they, did, they probably don't know how to play. But, so not only do they have the Universal Cup, but they actually have all the pins for all the different that cups. That is cool. That, that is, is cool. cool. That is really cool. I feel like I wouldn't want to break up the set. Though. No, I would never open it. I'm not sure if this is new, but it's new to me. It's a Mario Kart Bowser Challenge ride t-shirt. It's a little boring, but I appreciate ride merchandise. Fun thing about this ride is every time you go on it, you could tap your power band to the steering wheel and it'll keep score of what you got. And guess what? I am number nine for the entire day. You're welcome. I mean, it helps that like the car was filled with kids and then me who wasn't playing. For the whole day. That's pretty good. It's already 2 p.m. and I'm number nine. Congratulations. Someone beat me. I dare you. Deserve the Universal Cup that they saw in the store. <laughs> oh. Don't eat. Don't eat. Super Nintendo World in Universal Studios Hollywood is so awesome, so immersive, so much fun, has so much replayability, and I'm so excited for Florida for Epic Universe to open. And now we're going to go into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to find out how much a butterbeer is exactly. And the butterbeers are $9.31 with tax, so a little bit cheaper than the the Mario drinks. $4 cheaper almost. Yeah. What's better, that or the... I mean, obviously butterbeer. Frozen butter beer that never fails. We made our way inside of the owl post here in the Wizarding World where they have these brand new snowy owl little shoulder pets that perch on your shoulder and they're apparently like voice activated and they move and they chirp and they're they're connected with like a little magnet and they just like sit right on your shoulder. I've been seeing like so many little kids walking around with them and they're so cute. Okay, we gotta buy one for science. Should we? We gotta try it out. I feel like I have to. He's alive. Oh my god, listen to him. Can you hear him? Yeah. What should we name him? Hello. Hi. Okay, you exploring? Oh my god, the fact that it flaps and everything. Oh, wait, hold on, I need to close his butt up. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow, looking right at me, huh? What's up, buddy? Okay, this might be the coolest thing. I know the wands were cool, but... This is cool. This might be cooler. The fact that it... Oh. You could like, hear the little gears and it's... Oh, okay. What are you talking about gears? That's an owl. Yeah. And I love that it's voice activated, so... It, it's, like, literally staring right at me. <laughs> Every time I look over, he's like... Well, you're talking, he's listening to you. Okay. Do you hear it? It sounds like our dog, Gizmo. What's his when name? he wants a tin. I don't know, what should we name him? I think you guys should figure out a name for him and leave it in the comments down below. What would be a good name? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, that made him happy. Oh, okay. I love him. He is my friend, but I don't want him on my shoulder because I'm afraid he's going to fall off. But it, it is on there pretty sturdy. I don't think he can. I think, like, it's, oh my God, that's really It's on hard. there? Yeah. Okay. I was His worried claws maybe. are really into your... Yeah, and it doesn't even hurt or anything. I was worried since it was I was wearing a sweatshirt, maybe it was, oh yeah, he's on there. He's on there good. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Literally the best thing that they've ever done. He's like very overstimulated right now. I understand, buddy. Hey, Owl. His name is not Owl. Or her. Is it a girl or a boy? I don't even know. I think it's a girl. I gotta admit, I'm seeing more kids with owls on their shoulders than walking around with magic wands, which just goes to show you how amazing this product, I mean this uh, owl adoption service is. I think they're gonna 
have a lot of owl adoptions here. <laughs> Where does he want to go next? Hoot! I want to go on the tram tour, Hoot! Wow, what a beautiful voice you have. Okay, well, we could go. But I'm gonna have to take you off my shoulder. Okay? Is that okay? Yeah? Okay, oh my god, what an angel. Now, one thing our city is missing, though, that most cities have is a population. We don't have residents that actually live here. Our residents are our sound stages, and inside of these sound stages are where we film some of the most iconic movies in cinema history. Take a look. TV shows inside of these sound stages. We can even film game shows. If anyone's a big fan of Hollywood Game Night, hosted by Jane Lynch from Glee, they said they filmed inside of Jane Lynch's living room, but I don't know how many living rooms you've been to, but have a live studio audience inside of them. They actually used one of the sound stages coming up on our right-hand side. Now, you'll get glimpses of our New York street on our right-hand side. It's the street running parallel to us currently. It's currently closed because they are getting ready for some production, which you can actually see on our right as well. They're building a set. Oh no, they've escaped everybody! The dinosaurs have gotten out! Holy smokes, look at this huge dinosaur on our left. I'm not a paleontologist, but I do believe this is what we call it. Right, this is fantastic. Can we turn off the water now, please? Hey, tech team, do you copy? Can we turn off the water? We don't want to cause a flash flood. We're too late, everybody. Hang tight. Yeah, no sign of George, but there is another shark in the water. And don't worry, everybody. I'm pretty sure George is on his lunch break, so he's nice and safe. On no, there he is. Okay, George, get out of the water, please. Can you hear me? Start swimming towards your boat. You're in danger, buddy. Holy oh, smokes, it's grabbing that end of the pier. Do you see it? That part of our pier, unfortunately, is connected to our gas line. I just hope that a fire doesn't start. You know, this might actually work out in our favor. I read somewhere that sharks are terrified of fire. Turns out that's not true. The Bennett House is coming up on our right-hand side. It's that first light blue house that you're seeing. Uh, this is what it looks like on the TV series. Take a look at your screens. Fantastic. Do you think we're getting too old for this? Oh, come on, Johnny. We're doing a public service here. Let's go, Cookie Puss. You got an ugly suit on, man. It's cheap. Somebody out there really pissed off Shaw. <laughs> until 9 p.m. tonight. If you can wrangle these two in pink. Yes, put those fists up, girls. Yes, now look forward. You've almost got it. Yeah, take a picture now. Okay, Ugh. all right. With your big camera there. Hello, Mr. Cinematographer. So last time I talked to you, you hadn't been in the Super Nintendo world yet. Oh, that place? Yes, I'm trying to make a deal with Bowser. What kind of deal do you want to make with Bowser? Uh, we are going to take over the entirety of this downstairs area. We will rule this place. You'll have all the corn dogs. Uh, corn dogs? I don't want corn dogs. I want those invincibility stars. <laughs> Yes, all you have to do is touch one of those and you're invincible for like 10 seconds. All spark, small spark. <laughs> Give me about six of those. If you want the tips and tricks to learn how to be good in Super Nintendo World, put the video right over here. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes... Ben, Julie, and Team Heidman, thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure.